Howdy folks, this is Torkador from Subject Neutral, and welcome to Crossout. So, um, I'm sure you guys have already been seeing a bunch of videos out online, um, but here I figured I'd take uh, things a little bit differently, um, and sort of give, I guess, a very minor tutorial on um, how to get into the be beta, and um, pretty much... Uh, a way uh, give you a tutorial on how to build your vehicles so um well first we'll uh, start with uh, getting into this bad boy so um you go to the crossout website and you can there's two ways to get into this there's the free way but obviously that doesn't get you in right away then you can purchase uh three packs that they have which is here um you can go for the twenty dollar one the, uh, well, uh, it's technically uh, $25 in, here in Canada, the uh, $30 USA, and the $50 uh, one. Um, I went ahead, and because I like the, the Fenrir uh, type one here, actually, you know what, I think I might put that guy as my uh, portrait, if I could figure that out uh, in a video, but um, yeah, I went with this one because I, I like the, uh, the auto cannon feel and whatnot. So I really liked that whole setup. So I went with this one. I didn't want to end up paying 50 bucks just to get a cannon, which eventually you can unlock. But now that I've actually played the game, I wish I would have got it for uh, these nice little blades here. Uh, but as you can see, you can have a very sleek looking uh, uh, fast vehicle here. Um, the Fenrir. This this one, uh, I've played it a little bit. It's it's a bit of a challenge like it's it ends up into the uh, the, the 26 um, power is it I guess uh, let's see here. Do that. Uh, power score yeah so it ends up in the same range as this bad boy that I've made myself here um, and well it's only got the auto cannon and the auto cannon it shoots about five shots and then it overheats um, well, that you so uh, before I move on, um, essentially you just buy one of those packs and you can instantly get in and start playing, and you can use any of the packs that you uh, purchase. So uh, on to uh, building. So um, when you first start playing, you end up playing pretty much against AI, and the AI are, um, for lack of a better term, pretty damn stupid. Um, so, you can build, um, did I save this? Yeah, just one second here, folks. Um, Dula. Delete, yes, custom. So, yes, you can create, uh, different, uh, blueprints. Um, let's call that death. Oh. Okay. So you can create blueprints here, and I've made a few. Uh, one specifically with the auto cannon. The one thing I noticed with the Fenrir uh, version was that it um, they're ve it's very weak, and it gets tossed up into uh, he uh, heavier games. But uh, going back to when you first start playing, you play against a lot of AI. So when you have something like this which it's pretty much a uh, machine gun uh, uh, carrier where I have three machine guns in here I have a... I think I have a few uh, radiators in there um, but yeah you can pretty much roll around the field and do pretty pretty good but then as you get into the higher uh, games because as you level up uh, that's the one unique thing about um, Crossout is you have your player level, which I'm level 5 right now, and you have your power score. So one thing um, I did, oh, uh, wrong one, sorry, is I created my bruiser, which I'll uh, just load that, yes, oh, no, not the bruiser, um, I created the dreaded inferno, oh, no, load. Yes. 
So pretty much my goal in... Uh, keep hitting the wrong button. Build. So my goal in this one was to create a power score that was low as possible to get the biggest gun on there. So I'd end up facing lower tier people. But the one thing, this advantage I found out with this is it's very lightly armored and even machine guns, do, it doesn't take long for machine guns to take it out. Though it does kick some pretty good butt, as is. But uh, that's what you can do is uh, with your level and your power score is as you level up you'll uh, face people of pretty much the same level but then again you'll also have your power score which will also add to the factor of matchmaking. So you can do it two, uh, two ways is try to get the biggest gun on the lowest power score uh, possible. Uh, it's difficult with this 25mm autocannon because it's one grand in power score by itself and then I added in these fuel barrels which is kind of uh, it's playing with fire with these. Uh, you put these on and you get a, a petrol um, uh, from matches. But, oh, I only have the one on there. But the uh, bad thing about them is they explode. They do like 900 damage in a 10 meter radius. Um, which um, I did actually try to make a kamikaze unit where I had like about uh, six barrels right in front but I was facing guys that because the barrels as you can see they add 120 power score so um, I was facing pretty high tiered uh, people with my kamikaze unit so I ended up usually exploding well before I got close enough to anyone so um, I'll go load my current one death roller um, so this is pretty much the one that I've been playing around with the most. Um, I got pretty much the first one I had. I had two front steering wheels on either side and two rear uh, wheels. And I found that I always ended up with the two rear wheels so I just got took them out just to save space. Um, and also too, the one thing is that these machine guns, they heat up pretty quickly. So, oh, excuse me, sorry. So I've got a, um, what's that, a weapons cooler pack there. And I have a, um, a weapon cooler there and a bunch of three uh, weapon uh, radiators right here. So the, th and they're, they're not the advanced ones, they only uh, do 30%. So I have pretty much three times uh, 30, 90%. I almost have double the, uh, the heating threshold. Plus, when they overheat, they cool uh, twice as fast. So, uh, just to do a test drive, I'll uh, give this bad boy a go. As you can see, look how long I can sustain that fire. Quite some time, so I can dish out quite a bit of damage. Um, this guy is a pretty heavy though um, I did manage to get those boosters on but they didn't really do a whole lot for me but uh, I also have a nice little bumper set up I had to bring it forward because every time I ran someone I'd lose the front uh, the two fronts uh, the two front steering wheels which was pretty bad also you want them set up uh, your machine gun set up in a way that you want them tiered kind of like a battleship um, as the way I see it, for if you're going with a machine gun build. Um, because I find that way you can have fire all two, or if you manage to do it three at the same time, and you cover your sides. Because I find most of the time I'm shooting people on my sides rather than the front. And the front is usually when I'm going to go ram something. So, uh, as you can see, it averages 14 to 20 damage, and then I can get in a nice uh, ram damage for about 60. Um, the ramming... Oop. Ooh, I, that was close. I haven't really rammed anyone, so to speak. Um, I haven't found ramming anyone very effective. Oh, that's cool. So that's good that the one machine gun. 
I, um, I also put all this, uh, fancy dancy stuff on here just to level up faster with the levels because the more you level up, the, uh, faster, uh, the faster, uh, you get a more access to more stuff. So, um, let's hop into a battle. Um, I'm working on the cannon one, so, uh, let's do that. And I pretty much have to... So, here we are on Ship Graveyard. So, uh, yeah, let's see how we do. We're pretty much at the top. Oh, I don't know what this list does, because I'm at the top, so to speak. So I don't know if that's, uh, that I'm at the top with most experience, because there was a few people on that list that had higher power score than me, yet I was above them. So, uh, I guess it's, uh, the level which would make sense to me, more or less. And someone... Ashley, AI. And the water, mostly, uh... And this is where I want it. Madison, what are you doing, Madison? Daddy. Oh, there's someone. Let's get revenge on that. Uh, Bastard. Oh, I got my one machine gun. There we go. Ah, thinking too much. Ah, ah that water killed uh, a lot of my speed. That took a while. I guess that's the disadvantage for having, uh... Hey, I made it to level 6. One more level and then I get to the next one. Yeah, I got... I got cannons! Holy crap! <laughs> so, uh, I'm a little excited about that because I haven't had cannons uh, before. Um, so this is going to be the first time... Well, probably shortly after this in the next video that I'll be able to make... A, uh, a cannon build um, because so far I've been just limited to a single auto cannon sh uh, shotguns and uh, machine guns which I haven't had too much luck with the shotguns at all because they're like the auto cannons you can only do certain amount of uh, shots before they overheat I'm gonna sneak here just wait for oh, everyone's under. Okay. Oh, nice one. Ow! I hurt. I lost half the steering, and I can't aim. Let's kick. Oh, sorry, buddy. Woohoo! Hit him. But uh, what that guy's doing is he's uh, trying to cut him off. Oh, there's another person coming back. That was uh, um, uh, something's dragging. Man, two wheels from that one machine gun. And uh, that's pretty, pretty much it. Woo! Oh, what did I hit? Alright, let's go this way.
no steering. So this sort of sucks. Um, let's see if I can make it across. Come on. As you can see, I got my two fuel barrels there, but they're... Oh, oh this is bad. This is bad. Let's see if we can do this. Go hit the cap. Oh, we are not being capped. So, yeah, they've uh, killed all of them. There, I've got my radar still going. I wonder if that's, if my, uh, with my things, uh, dragon there, my, uh, petrol things, woo that they're gonna explode. It's too bad, uh, I, I've always, like, where is this one guy? Oh, there he is. Hey! Another victory. All right, so uh, that was two gameplays, uh, not a whole lot. Um, I will probably back out, and that's probably it for this uh, video. So uh, I'll definitely, ah, uh, uh, you know what? Surprise! One last game, and then we'll uh, call it quits for this video. And ooh, a bunch of three, th three grand ones. Uh, oh, I can see why we won. I've also noticed too, like. Um, Usually, uh, the side with the better power score, which it's weird because you'll see a lot of people, uh, well, a lot of times I've seen where uh, there's like three grand power score on one side, and the other side, the highest person is barely breaks two grand. Crossfire! Come on! Woohoo! Oh, that is it not a dead end. Oh. Let's see here if I can uh, go flank some people's. Or provide some crossfire. And maybe some potential enemies. Should have left off on the video while I still had the chance, but uh, yeah, so that's cross out. I'll definitely try out a cannon build uh, for you guys to check that out. So I'll you'll probably see that in the next episode. Adios, folks.